Hello little readers! Today Pete goes on a mission to find out how the library works. As he settles down and starts reading books, something extraordinary happens. He goes on all sorts of imaginary adventures. Let's see where he goes. Before we do, remember to ask mommy or daddy to press that like and subscribe button so that you won't miss a story. Pete the Cat Checks Out the Library by James Dean Pete's mommy's taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own library card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There is a big desk where people wait to check out books. Pete sees some of his friends reading at a long table. It's very peaceful and quiet. How relaxing. The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. There are books of every shape, size and color. What do I do now? Pete asks. Now you read a book, the librarian says. Hmm, which book should I read? Asks Pete. You can read any book you like, says the librarian. Pete looks around. There are so many books. Pete picks up a book all about airplanes and jets. He reads it and pretends he is a stunt pilot. He flies a super fast jet and does loop at the loops and spirals high in the sky. Then Pete finds a book with dragons, wizards and unicorns on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard using magic spells and a special one to defend his castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Next, Pete opens a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist studying all types of critters in the wild. He has to be very still to study some critters and very fast to study others. Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. It is a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends that he is in a dark, spooky forest, trying to outsmart a big, bad wolf. Pete puts that book back on the shelf. It is too scary. Pete opens up a book about the pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends that he is an explorer, riding a camel across the desert and climbing to the top of a giant pyramid. Next, Pete picks a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a robot at a robot dance party. His arms and legs make whizzing sounds when he moves. When robot Pete speaks, he says bleep bloop bleep. Next, Pete picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and make believes that he is a superhero. He flies around this city in a colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. Then Pete spots a big book about the ocean and all its creatures. He reads it and imagine that he is a scientist in a submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean looking for whales, squids and sharks. There are so many wonderful books to read at the library. Pete can be whatever he imagines with a book. Reading is super groovy. The end. Reading books takes us on all sorts of adventures. Let's have a look at the word for today. Explorer. It means a person that goes to unfamiliar places. Thank you for reading along with me, little reader. I'll see you next time.